common themes between Zip2 and PayPal? Uh, well, I guess both of them uh, involved, had, had software at the, as the heart of the technology. Um, even though Zip2 was, in, was, was servicing the media sector, and obviously PayPal was servicing the financial sector, uh, the, the, um, the heart of it was really software um, and, and internet-related stuff. So certainly that's a, a huge commonality. Um, they were both in Palo Alto, where I live. Uh, um, I, I think we t you know, took a similar approach to building both companies, uh, which was to have a, a small group of uh, very talented people um, and, uh, and keep it small. Uh, you know, I think PayPal had, at, at its height, probably 30 engineers. Uh, for, for a system that's, I would say, is more sophisticated than the Federal Reserve clearing, clearing System. Um, I'm pretty sure it is, actually, because the Federal Reserve Clearing System sucks. <laughs> um, so uh, what else is there? Uh, it, it generally, you know, I think it, the, the way both Zip2 and PayPal operated was, was really your, it was your canonical Silicon Valley uh, startup. Uh, you know, uh, pretty flat uh, hierarchy. Um, you know, everybody had a roughly similar cube. Um, and uh, anyone could talk to anyone. We had a philosophy of best idea wins, uh, as opposed to, you know, the person proposing the idea winning because they are who they are, um, even though there were times when I thought that should have been the way it goes. <laughs> um, and um, obviously, you know, everyone was, was an equity uh, stakeholder. Uh, us anything. If, if there were uh, two paths that, you know, w let's say we had to choose to do one thing or the other, um, and the one wasn't obviously better than the other, uh, then rather than spend a lot of time trying to figure out which one was slightly better, we would just pick one and do it. And sometimes we'd be wrong and, and, and we'd pick the suboptimal path, but often it's better to pick a path and do it than to just vacillate endlessly on, on a choice. Um, we, we didn't worry too much about uh, intellectual property, uh, paperwork, legal stuff. We, we really were very focused on building the best product that we possibly could. Um, both Zip2 and PayPal were very product-focused companies. Um, you know, that's, we're just com com incredibly obsessive about how do we build something that is really going to be the, you know, the best possible uh, customer experience. Um, and and that, that, that was a far more effective selling tool than, than having a giant sales force or thinking of you know, marketing gimmicks or 12-step you know, processes or whatever. <laughs>